Okay, we're going to be using gcflearnfree.org, which is a free website that has a lot of computer tutorials, amongst other things. Um, I like it because it is totally free and has lots of tutorials on everyday life, math and money, computer training, obviously. Online classes, they even offer free online classes, and they also offer advice on work and career. It's very simple. To get started, you just click on Join Now. Now it's going to ask you for some general information, such as your username, password, your email address, what country, city, etc. What's very important is that you click, I have read and understood. If not, it will not create an account. Now that, you're crea now that your account is created, it's very, very, very simple. You'll log in and then click on computer training. Here, as you can see, there's lots of computer training from Facebook to email basics to Windows 7 even. What we're going to be working on is Microsoft Word 2007. There it is. Once you click here, you will see a list of 23 different tutorials. They all build on each other, so it's important to do them in order. Now, I, you're going to need to do all 23. They're very short and will not take you long to do each one. As you can see, ones that are completed will have a check mark. And I'll zoom in here so you can see those. So to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to do tutorial four on proofing features. Just click that. And it gives you a brief overview first. So it tells you exactly what you're going to be learning about. And then when you click the next into the next slide, it gives you in greater detail the specifics of that topic. Some of the tutorials even have a video. I prefer to stick with the slides. You can, oh, I think you get a lot more out of them and you get to internalize it a bit more. When you finally get through it all, click next. It gives you a challenge, something that you can try to test your knowledge on. It's always good. And then when you click next, it's gonna take you back to the lesson page. And as you can see, I now have a check mark next to number four proving features because I've completed it. When you have completed all 23, there is a test that you must do. It's a very simple test. It's only 20 questions long. You can take it as many times as you need to. So there's no way that you should not get a 100% on this. So that is pretty much it. That's a GCF in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please make sure to contact your IT teacher with the appropriate questions. I'm sure they'll have all the answers for you. Thanks for watching.